Heritage Turbo, the now Bitzer, it was a Fanking Kirby, it's now just a mishmash of genuine actual Heritage Turbo parts, it is looking very good, it has the tools that I've had kicking around for absolutely ever now, and it is a fine vacuum cleaner, but the postman finally came today, and we have a box to open, and thank you to a very good friend of mine who was having a clear out. We have another box to open, and this should now make my Kirby Heritage Turbo 100, maybe 99, 98%, above 95%, which when you round up is 100% complete. Let's have a look. cleaner and Kirby chums. How are you today? Yes, these Kirby heritage tools of mine, they're not the complete kit. I mean, they're the tools that are normally found for Kirby. You know, the rug renovator, the power reviver, the foam cannon, and then the bog standard. And obviously they do that when you stand them up. Ah! Anyone else's curvy boxes do this, or is it just me? And then we have these standard dry tools, missing sadly the little tub of odorific and my little pot of the air freshener is a little bit solid now, but hey ho, that's fine. So yeah, you know, most people have these, I've had these, well I've not even had the machine. It's been very nice indeed. However, we'll do this box first. Hopefully a few of you have already guessed what could be in this box just going by the size. And yeah, this popped up on eBay and it was £30, which seems, on the face of it, oh, I'm going to for time whilst I reveal it, which on the face of it seems perhaps had much for what is a cardboard box. But yeah, cardboard box, Kirby Heritage. I now have the original main outer carton for a Kirby. Not my Kirby, the Kirby that went with this box is I think on eBay, the guy's selling everything. And I just want this. I picked up this. So, my £30, what's it got us? Well, it's not just an empty box. We open said box we have lots of stuff not quite sure what stuff but what i do know from the listing is that i now have and i think this is genuine curvy packaging as well in here not that it makes much of a difference but you know genuine american plastic bag i have now got and it's in pretty good condition from looking at it an original heritage hose i've been using a heritage two hose for you know, a fair old while, and now it's a little bit grubby, needs a bit of a clean up. But an original hose, what's that? A tenner's worth? So we're down to 20 pounds for the contents of this box. The other thing that I was missing was, and again, these look unused. Looking at the end of this genuine heritage wand, which I now have, ha, oh, what's that? Another tenner, so 20 quid. So this has now cost us a tenner, which is marvellous really. And now, I think, yeah, I can have the one sticking out of my Heritage Convenience Group with Turbo Power box. Now, no idea what else is in here. The eBay listing was a little bit vague. So, we appear to have, oh, very nice, although they now don't fit my machine, but it's good to have a nice pack, although there's other stuff falling out of here. Some genuine Kirby bags, obviously, of the style that fitted this machine before I hacked it about and stuck a Heritage 2 fill tube in it, which then obviously means that I can use HEPA flow bags. So yes, 
some nice fags in a genuine packet. This will be nice just to show, really. <laughs> I'm not actually going to use them, although I do still have the fill shoe. But there we go. Look, oh, look, we have three. Let's have three. There you go. Three disposable filter bags. There is a packet of these on eBay for eight quid. So what have we on now? Two pounds. <laughs> the contents of this box, obviously that's no good anymore, but that's fine. So what is our two pounds going to get as well? I have some of these actually, and they've already sort of opened. This is a spares order form. I'll have to get the rest out in a minute when we move on to the next stage. But of course, all the years of sitting has ruined the thing somewhat. Ooh. We have a manual. Now, I do have a manual, but, and I can see how much better this is than mine, by holding it and noting that none of the pages fall out. So that's good. I have a much better manual. Have another rug, power reviver, rug renovator. And all oh, I was going to say, we have ourselves a nice spare belt. But we don't. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been used. It's a genuine Kirby belt, but yeah, look, it's just it's just perishing so badly. So I'll compare this against the other one that I have. In fact, I have, and look, the bristles are different. We'll look at that more in a minute when I get it out. And then we have a few more cool things. We have another style. In fact, this might be the same one. Yes, it is. We have another one. Although it's again slightly stuck down of an order form. Another random plastic bag. And then again, not from my machine sadly, but their customer. We're proud you bought a Kirby. I did buy a Kirby. It was a very good £7. There we go. Functional motor test. Completed motor sub-assembly. I could put my name against all of that now. Oh, let's just tip the rest of the dirt out of the box and pop that on one side for a second. I'm just curious to see what my serial number compares. My serial number ends 9641 for this particular, apparently quite early machine. And um, yeah, that's 1810900. So it's a much later machine that all these tools came from. But I don't really mind too much. I mean, you know. She's not a numbered matching machine anymore. But yeah, I do want to quickly look at I mean, yeah, that's the same. The brush roll that's in my rug renovator. So that can stay. However, the one that's in the shampoo tray, I don't think it is. Looking at this, look, that's black. I think this is from the Heritage 2, and I just didn't realise. So... Need to swap that around, although I need to undo the screw. Ooh, they are undoing, look. I've had these completely seized up before, and it's been a right. Oh, okay, it has sort of stuck now. I need to change up with the screwdriver, so we'll, we'll do that later. For now, put that back in there. I'll do it in a second. But yeah, I'm going to swap this over so that we have you know two matching brush rods. I don't think you ever got two. I think I just cheated a little bit. So that is pretty cool in itself we can put that there putting the shampoo thing back in and yeah i have now the original box for the machine which is fantastic really let's pop that them somewhere here put that here put these to one side have a look at the next thing that I have for my Kirby Heritage, the Home Turbo Group. And inside this box is... Oh, stuff that's missing. Wait on, here we are. The Kirby Groom. Yes. Got given this. Mr Jake didn't want it and said, did I want it for my machine? And I said... Yes, please. So, yeah, look, we have ourselves Kirby Groom complete with the clip-on attachment. And I have used it. I've had a shave with it. I haven't done my hair. Not quite sure I have renounced to do that. But I did shave my beard. And, yeah. But the fact that if you're not careful, it sucks your skin into there. We'll fire it up in a minute. Obviously, I have now 
the original hose which doesn't fit in there. Put that back in here. Oh, all these fell out. That's mildly annoying. One goes there. Oh, we are missing the Kirby comb by the looks of it. And the small bottle of scuffle, although I have a big bottle somewhere, so that's fine. We have the scalp massager. We have a bottle of, or a little tube of, Kirby Turbo Groom Oil. Are you going to focus? One fluid ounce, yeah. Two drops of oil. And I, I, I did oil these up before I used it, and yeah, it runs quite well. Also have the Heritage, or the Turbo Sander, that goes with this machine, along with the Massage Pad, yes, <laughs> the scrub pad, some sandpaper, we've got 120 grit from 3M, this is all 3M paper, 120, 80 and 80, I imagine they're original, very nice indeed, and the buffing pad, yes, and all of this sits very nicely indeed in its little, little home there, that sits there, and then this is the hose that connects the curvy groom like so to the main hose I think yeah the main hose of the machine and that all looks like it's going to work very well indeed so let us actually we're gonna quickly move go back to the instruction manual before we fire that up because I do want to get rid of my one and I keep it under here look it's all very complete now. So yeah, we'll take the wand out and you pull this up and then I've got the manuals sat in here. Now I have the manual for that box here and this is the original manual. Ah, here they are. This little envelope here. Are these? I mean, I've, I've got two styles of them. I did open one forcibly because... You know, I want to see what's inside of it. And yeah, I, mean, I can't order any of it because it's all very American. But yeah, there are the original order forms. And I, go, oh, I have many now. <laughs> I've got four now for the Kirby. I don't know what you know, sort of Kirby. Tradition, Heritage and Heritage 2. Does this go into any more detail? No, it doesn't. Somebody should know what era all of these are from. That's nice. We have... Lots more, oh, lots more paperwork. And yes, this is my manual. Look, it's got tape down there. It's all very sort of dog-eared and used and very much not as good as this one. I don't know if they're different revisions. No, they're both revision A. I don't know if they ever revised it, really. 953681. So... We shall keep this one. I shall yeet that one over there, although maybe see if anybody wants it before it's, you know, complete scrap. And, yeah, now I have all of the paperwork. Fantastic. Right, let me clear all this up, and then we'll set the Kirby Heritage up, and we'll have a play with the Turbo Tool. And actually, the first thing that I'm going to do before we change this machine and set up, we actually clean up all the mess that came I mean, this isn't its final form even now, but I'm going to do something about that dropping right down, try and make it so it stays at least where it's put. But we shall lift the belt, take off the cleaner head. And yeah, this is doing very well. As I say, the brushes are set just so. That is correct. And it looks a bit uneven on camera, but it was pretty even in real life. Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye on that. But yes, yeah, so we'll take that off. Don't use that. Fit our genuine hose, no more black hole hose for us. I hope it is. Yeah. 
You've got to block the holes off on the hose, but eh, that's fine. Cool. So, what we really only need are these two bits here, and I have to find something to shave. Hmm. We're going to get something that we can perhaps cut a little bit of stuff off. There we go. We're going to borrow one of Eva's soft toys and perhaps trim it down in a second. So, this goes on to here, covering up the holes, so there is full suction. This clicks into here, and that's it. It's really well look it's put a hole in that but which is why it was going anyway it had a hole in it but yeah it works really well and it cleans everything as well we might as well get rid of the rest of this and i can put this in the bin Nice haircut for horsey. Very good indeed. So that is the turbo groom. And yeah, all the hair, obviously not toy fluff, all the hair goes straight into the machine, which is most excellent indeed. Right, let's just put, you know what, let's, let's, let's put the massage pad on the sander. The first thing we have to do is to take off the dust shroud. These work ever so well. This dust shroud will stop most of the dust from the sander. I mean, I don't quite like the idea of using this for wood with your nice curvy, but yeah, hook it up to a machine that you don't care about, and it'll be all right. It's got perhaps a little bit of damage on it. Somebody's run it over something before, but yeah, that's fine. We don't need to worry. So we'll put one end into this clamp and then do up the thing. And then, oh, it's a little bit tricky. You then got to put the other end into the back and then put that down and we're now set up for massaging dodgy ankle maybe I should sit here for the night and just massage the back of my foot oh, it'll not make your hands go all tingly but yeah literally folks for you know 30 pounds plus a very generous donation from another collector I have I think a hundred percent bar the little bottles of stuff that I'm missing Kirby Heritage Turbo Cart, there's anything down there absolutely fantastic I mean the box is a little bit tatty I mean I'm might put some tape on it but then once it's clipped up you can't fully tell however what is slightly broken is this handle here but never fear because the person that gave it to me knew that it was a little bit dodgy and had a spare handle which is possibly going to be not great to fit because oh I don't know, there we go make sure it moves and yeah there is our handle for our tur uh, heritage home turbo group so yeah we can fit everything back in the side all i'm missing so i'm missing the kirby comb or uh, just add a little black comb I, I presume it's not no it's not under there always lift up you know the thing for your tools in case anything slid under but you know i'm pretty sure there is no little comb 
and no scuffle. The scuffle, I presume, goes with all the scrubby stuff. So that goes there. And yeah, it's it's broken, but I don't really want to put a load of tape around it if I can help it, because yeah, that's just going to look not too nice. And again, try not to rip the glass off. Once it clicks into place, you can't fully tell. You know, it, it matches everything else not too bad. Oh, and I've forgotten to put this in there as well. Oh, what it all looks like laid out. Wow. All looks quite a lot when it's all laid out through all three toolboxes, all of the tools. Now, I did try and swap this black brush roll out for this one, but it's it, it's longer. So, and the problem is this user manual for the super renovation group is in black and white, so it doesn't really help me decide if you know it should ever have had two, or if it just had one, or if that brush roll there is indeed this one. I decided to not care. I'll just not have that and have the black brush roll in the shampooing tray and then the other one in the rug renovator. And yeah, obviously this all kicks on very nicely. We have all the shampoo tools, have the crevice tool. I am still missing the little brush from the top of there. Moving through into the dry cleaning tools, our Kirby Turbo Brush, which now works much better, although I sort of wish I'd change the other bearing as well now, but never mind. And down to the Home Turbo Group. All of this, and then there's more, I don't think this is the full stuff that this would have come with. All of that fits this one little heritage. The one Kirby fits all of this. What am I missing, folks? Tell me. I think, I think there's another thing I'm missing, but I can't picture it right now. So tell me, out of all of this, what I haven't got. Because this is so near an 100% complete machine now. I mean, I'm a little bit tempted, although I probably won't, to swap the bag fill back down. But, I don't know, these heifer bags are very nice, and this is certainly been used for a little while and yeah there is a big whole chunk of dirt down there and a pretty spotless inner bag which is why mainly I wanted to use these bags they probably increase the airflow as well I watched a very nice video from Kirby Enthusiast the other day about changing all the amp tools around and well we got a century or two maybe one day we could swap them around but for now this is, like I say, 95, 96, 96.7% complete. You know, missing a comb, a little brush on the top of the crevice tool, she's using the incorrect bags. But bar that, she is complete. So, there we go, really. I've been waiting ages for that big box to turn up. And here it finally is. And what I want to do now is get the Kirby packed away in the main box. So, let me clear all this up and do just that. And there we go. All of the machine is boxed up, isn't it, Phoenix? You gonna go in? Where's in there? You gonna go in? Go in there, you might not like it. No. So, I mean, I did find a picture on Vacuum Lamp of somebody who found a brand new one of these at Fifth Store. And, come on, Buffett, I just can't get it in the box in the same way. The best I've managed to do is like this, but in the picture I saw this box was made like that, but I just can't do it. This bit, I don't know how it sits. The picture didn't say how all the bits were. So it's sort of in there, really. I'm happy enough with that, I think. And yeah, with that done, our seven pound car boot Kirby, of which there is some left. <laughs> Motor, brush roll housing, wheels. Um, yeah, and the tools I already had, 30 pounds to complete the tools and the lovely gift of the home turbo group. My Kirby Heritage Turbo, Heritage One, Heritage Turbo, whatever you want to call it, is done and dusted so if you know how it all fits in that big box please do let me know if you have worked out all of the bits that i might be missing please let me know and um, 
until the next time, I and this Kirby will see you soon. Bye bye.